Hello everyone. As promised, I'm back today with a celebrity look and um, I'm going to be doing a Betty Davis inspired look because I recently um, went to go see All About Eve at a theater in my town that was playing old movies and I've seen it before but it's just such a good movie and she's so awesome in it if you've never seen it. Especially if you're a girl, I feel like you need to see it. Um, it's apparently the first movie that had four female <clears throat> actresses nominated for an Academy Award. None of them won, which is crazy to me, um, because I don't even know the people that beat them. But um, they were all fabulous. So it's a really good rah-rah chicks movie. Um, but it's awesome. My husband liked it too. It's just, it's really good. Anyway, so I'm going to do a little Betty Davis look. And I'm really excited because one of my friends gave me this pair of Sephora lashes. So I'm going to be using those. And this is not going to be an overly complicated look. I've actually done looks sort of like this in the past. So I'm going to be starting with this Ceramidin. Um, it's like a really good moisturizer and it's a little bit tinted. Um, and I've really been liking it. And I was, did a lot of sweating today. So I'm going to kind of moisturize my face. It's a good thing. You'll have to forgive the silly curlers. I'll take them out at the end. Okay. Next, I'm going to use a little concealer. <clears throat> finding, finding my concealer would be helpful. What just dropped in there? I have no idea. I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> almost enough. <laughs> okay. I have some blotchy areas on my face. And as any time I do a, you know, a makeup look that comes from an older movie star, um, their skin is flawless. And they don't even wear that much makeup, it's just... They just, they look, their skin looks so good. So, I'm gonna use just a little blender to kind of blend that in. only important areas. Good. Next, just my little powder. My bare minerals. And a color just the shade too yellow for my skin. this blender. Just sort of blend in. Oh. Oh, my husband is making something, which of course means he's going to be really loud. I love him. Um, what 
is wrong with me? Why do I keep dropping things? Okay. I'm going to use this MAC palette just to, again, soften and warm up the yellow. Or I guess cool down the yellow. I never get that right. a nice little glow. And I'm going to use my Oasis as my main blush. Bring this up around the sides. I get too crazy with blush. I'm going to use my contour palette. <laughs> now, hmm, how do I want to do this? This is an odd little thing that I'm about to do. Um, Betty Davis has these really defined cheeks. And so I'm going to use my face palette and this little brush to kind of create that. Like you see what that's doing. It's a little nuts. I'm not gonna stay like that, believe me. Okay. And then do the sides of my nose and I'm gonna kind of extend up into the brow area. See what I'm doing. Her nose is actually kind of long. <laughs> then I'm just going to take this blender some more and blend that. I go back into this palette. I'll kind of follow that line around to make it a little more, a little softer. And then, of course, into, oh, jeez, sorry, to the highlight. of this blush on the sides. Alright, that's good for the face. And <clears throat> I'm using some primer. I'm going to use this lovely palette again. 
I'm going to take this lightest color in here. And I'm going to sweep this over my lid. Over the crease area, up towards the brow bone. Down on the lid. It's actually really nice. It looks very natural. But it just kind of gives you the dimension. And it's also very, very matte. Which is lovely. Try taking the highlight color for the highlight. Is that crazy? Ooh. Nope, that's nice. It's a little shimmery, but that's okay. See, if you don't have makeup with you, if you don't have like eyeshadows with you, but you have a bronzer palette, you can do a really good eyeshadow look. So I'm pulling this highlight color over my it as well. Okay. Ooh, it's a little warm in here. I also have hot curlers on my head. Okay. Next I'm going to use this um, Tristique Mini Shadow Crayon and Kona Coffee Color. It's a mouthful. And I'm going to start in the outer corner And kind of build up a little just on the outside but I, I'm gonna be very careful not to give myself any kind of wing because Betty Davis really didn't do wing because she had very round eyes as you know if you've seen her she's got Betty Davis eyes right we all know that she'll tease you <laughs> She'll unease you. I really like this crayon. I just wish it was like a little bit uh, more of a point. <clears throat> I'm going to take my tattoo liner. and kind of complete the line that I've started. I don't even have to take it all the way across. It's thicker on that side. use my NARS Galapagos, which is a nice brown with a little bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm going to go over this corner area to set it. And then I'm going to take it and very lightly push it up. into my crease area. I'm not really, I'm only trying to make it look like I have a shadow. Nothing really more. <sighs> you just see how that gives my eyes some dimension. brush that I love so much. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? I'll use this. This is better. Just my little pencil brush. And then I'm going to continue this brown 
across over the tattoo liner to sort of soften and smoke it up a little bit. do that. I'm going to, nope. Oh heavens. To Betsy. Here it is. I'm going to wipe NARS liner on my lower waterline. Good go to that. Okay, now going back with my little pencil brush, and I'm going to come underneath. white on first so it doesn't pick up any of the brown which it has been known to do okay you know some of the fallout it did still pick up a little bit of the brown but that's okay all right next I'm not going to um, curl my lashes because Betty Davis and the lashes are not so curly as they are like stick out straight. But I'm definitely going to make sure I go all the way across on these bottom. That was like kind of a quintessential look of the 30s and 40s actresses. Okay, Mr. Duo, you're up. Okay. I'm very grateful to my friend. I don't really know why she gave these to me. She said she didn't like the way they looked on her. I think she just wanted to contribute to my channel. <laughs> didn't go not too smoothly, but they're on. What is going on? There we go. Okay. Do, do, do. I have the Tom Petty song American Girl in my head because my band performed that. <laughs> that was our patriotic song. She was an American girl.
All right. Actually, with the, for all that like fussing, they're pretty um, symmetrical. I'll go back and fix them in a minute. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna do the brows while I'm waiting. So I'm gonna start up at the highest point. I've done this before. And I'm gonna come straight down. And then I'm gonna meet that point by creating like a thin line. So I can kind of achieve the, um, wow, is my husband yelling at someone on the phone? I don't know if you can hear that. I hope that you can't. He always picks the loudest things to do when I'm making a video. <clears throat> okay. I'm actually going to take my little brush with any product, but just kind of like push this little residual product on here. I'm going to kind of push these brows into even more of a shape. <clears throat> How are these lashes doing? They're pretty good. They look good, don't they? Can you see them? Okay, we're ready for the lips. And now, this is um, tricky because Betty Davis had, you know what? I know what I dropped. I dropped my sharpener. Dropped a brush. Doing very well today. Okay. Oh. Sharpening my Bobby Brown Brownie Pink. <clears throat> okay, so our Betty Davis's bottom lip was very like the bottom of a heart. So I'm going to kind of start here. At like the lowest point. Okay. And her top lip came very much wider over her bottom lip and almost had like no cupid's bow so this is really the look you would think it's her eyes but it's actually the lips that like really make it so I'm taking away my cupid's bow by just going straight across There you go. And then I take a little lipstick brush and brush some of my Sephora lip cream paint stuff over it.
I could do red, but I don't feel like doing red today. Okay, now it's time for the curlers to come out. I was trying to get that little curl she has on the side of her head. I have no idea if these are going to look good. But we will see. I've never done my curlers this way before. No moths. Oh, why am I so sweaty? It's hot in this bathroom. Well, it's not as quite as curly as I would like, but it's about as good as it's gonna get. So, fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy night. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you watch All About Eve. And if there's any other looks you'd like to see me do, please let me know in the comments. I really do read all your comments, and I try to respond to them. Um, I really appreciate them, and um, I would love to do a singing video at some point. Somebody commented that. And um, I have some other ideas up my sleeve, but I mean ideas really help me get motivated to make videos because sometimes I, you know, have like a little bit of a dry spell. But, um, again, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Bye!